The timber rattlesnake is a large rattlesnake species that lives in forested areas, as its name implies. They are a highly venomous snake. They can be found throughout the eastern United States. They have a triangular head with a black forked tongue and dark markings along its body. In the northeastern states, they can be often seen with one of two colorations, yellow or black. In northerly states, like here in New York, they are ruined by hibernating in communal dens with other snake species. They have two pits in between their eyes and nostrils like other pit vipers. They can go to be around 250 centimeters long and can weigh one and a half kilograms. Their tail ends in a rattle made of keratin, which gains new segments each time it sheds. The loosely attached segments make up the tail rattle when they shake their tail. They tend to give a warning rattle or two before things for their action if they feel threatened. They primarily feed on the rodents. They give birth to live young during the late summer season and can live for over 30 years. They are surprisingly good climbers, some having been recorded being 24 meters up in trees. They are the third largest venomous snake in the country. They are not aggressive and try to avoid people, but if you encounter one, it is best to give it space. And if it is walking your tail, it is best to wait until it slithers away or turn around. They rear their head and neck into an S shape and rattle to avoid possible threats. If that doesn't work, they may bite. Bites are a medical emergency. Severe symptoms can develop within minutes, and it is suggested to seek medical help within half an hour of being bitten. Venom from snakes in the northern range tend to have more hemotoxic effects, preventing blood clotting, whereas the venom from snakes in the southern range tend to have more neurotoxic effects, and can cause spasms or paralysis. This species, like other snakes in the eastern US, is vulnerable not only to human encroachment and persecution, but also to snake fungal disease, SFD, causing discoloration in regions of the skin, as well as a weaker immune system overall. 